Hi, everyone. We are today in uh, Persico Marine in uh, Nembro. Today is a special day because uh, we'll start uh, the first step of a series where we're going to describe in detail this new astonishing and amazing project uh, that we see behind us. And we do this involving two main actors who are in specifically Marcello Persico, president of uh, Persico Marine, and uh, Enrico Chieffi, vice president of uh, Nautor Group, the soul of this new great project. I would like to make the first question to Enrico. Enrico, please let us know how starts this uh, partnership uh, between uh, Nautor Swan and uh, Persico, and uh, what are the goals of this new model that will be introduced shortly on the market? Grazie. Um. It's a pleasure to have this opportunity uh, to, to explain uh, what is happening here, quite a special project. Uh, for us, uh, I have to say, is a very, uh, let's say, strategic vision going forward. Uh, Mr. Ferragamo, our president, always says that Swan is not a yard, uh, is a brand. And therefore, already uh, before the creation of Club Swan line of yachts, uh, Swan has uh, probably the biggest range of yachts uh, uh, in the industry. There is no other uh, builder that has such a wide uh, range of yachts and you find uh, quite difficult to manage uh, all the different, uh, let's say, specific needs of each uh, construction. Then uh, Club Swan comes on stage, which are very high performance yachts, uh, which kind of uh, are a completely dedicated line of boats. And so we felt uh, the need of specializing ourselves. And we had the choice either to make it in Finland, where we already built from the beautiful Swan 48 to the Club Swan 125. But I mean, it's difficult to merge everything together. So the vision was within the concept of brand and not yard to create what we call strategic partnerships. And what better to make it with Marcello, with Persico, a beautiful uh, let's say, reality, Italian reality, uh, specialized in high-performance yachts. And so the, the mix uh, and, let's say, the fit was quite natural uh, for such a high-performance yacht like the new Club Swan 80 that is in construction behind me. Uh, we made uh, this agreement, uh, and uh, which is kind of the start uh, of uh, a, a long-term project. Marcello, we are in the heart of the shipyard and we are uh, as seeing that there is something happening behind you. What, what exactly are doing uh, the people working behind you? The lamination of the outer skin, which can have a kind of romanticism because it, it is uh, the skin will touch uh, the water when the boat uh, finally will, will sail. And actually, yeah, we see only a part of it because um, we are also using uh, all our structure in, in Persico Marine. For example, we are doing some of the elimination also of the hull with, the, with our robot of the tape placement machine. We use also for some structures, for some bulkheads, for decks. It shows the level of technology we try to put into this boat which is definitely high standard in, in the type of material, but also in the technology we're going to use. Enrico, we're talking about Club Swan. Club Swan has a long history in Nautor. Now is a start to be a pillar for the Nautor Swan uh, philosophy. Why you started with the 45 and, and now we have the 80? Why you have focused on this specific size of boat? What are the reasons behind this choice? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, Club Swan was born uh, because we felt uh, we couldn't make the perfect boat. We, find out, we found ourselves uh, that we were always struggling. Uh, should the boat be more, let's say, performance-oriented or should, uh, should have a better, uh, let's say, comfort? Uh, and as you know, the two things are quite difficult to put together. So one day we said, let's go for a high-performance line of yachts. Uh, uh, which goes alongside our traditional production. And so the Club Swan line was born. Then uh, it goes all together in, uh, when you speak high performance, you speak about competition. And when you speak about competition, there is no better competition than real time competition. So we created this uh, circuit of events, uh, one design events now I would say is uh, by far the best circuit in the world. Uh, 
of offshore one design boats and it has been very very successful so we have uh, let's say the two realities uh, this, the traditional swan line that peaks uh, at the swan cup uh, which is a big uh, let's say party of sailing and we have the one design circuits uh, which instead uh, are pure high level competition as you say we started with the 45 we followed with the 42 uh, and now we have uh, a full line of swans uh, with the 36 uh, uh, the, the 50, that is a huge success, I would say the most successful one design class in the world today. And then we have the Club Zone 80 that is coming uh, to live now, and the 125, uh, we hope to make it a one design class, uh, but uh, as, as you probably, as we, we can expect, will stay a standalone yacht. So yes, the philosophy uh, meets the two needs of the company on one side to create uh, a high level uh, competition circuit uh, which for us is a kind of a very strong positioning for the brand and on the other side uh, to leave also the traditional swans uh, more traditional more comfort oriented without compromising too much marcello enrico told us about one design looking back at the uh, persico marine history we know that persico has brought significant pages we think about uh, the Vol 65 for the Volvo Ocean Race. We think about the new AC 75. They are now playing the America's Cup. So this experience, how are important to you know, uh, put and add value on this new project? Yeah, I, I mean, we definitely took that experience, uh, and that experience, I mean, the Volvo 65 uh, or, for example, the, the, the American Cup uh, uh, arm, which we did, uh, we supplied for all the, uh, the teams, uh, and even uh, the, the um, Klebs 136 foil, uh, which we supply for, for Swan. Uh, uh, and actually, not only the quality of, its, of the piece itself is important, uh, but it's important to make sure uh, the, the, the consistency and to make sure that every, all the pieces, all the parts, all the boats are identical. For this uh, process, you need to work and do a big investment uh, upfront uh, in uh, uh, developing the process, all the operational flow. You want to make sure that uh, the people really follow each time uh, the same uh, process with the same, uh, let's say, environment, the same uh, material, uh, with the same characteristics, because sometimes uh, we say pre-preg, but when we, see, when we receive a pre-preg from the supplier, they may have a different uh, raising content from one batch to the other one. So you want to be careful that uh, you use uh, the one with higher raising content in the same area you use on all the other boats. And it is a, it's an experience that we definitely want to take uh, from, from those other uh, uh, experience of the Cup and the Volvo, which they were very demanding because the type of customer, the type of sailors, uh, are very demanding uh, and they want to really make sure uh, that the boats are identical. Enrico, the Klebs 136 has adopted a conservative way of foiling. For this new Klebs 180, you don't uh, take the decision to adopt the foil, but instead of you below the waterline, you have a different kind of configuration. What is the key elements uh, of this uh, configuration for the Klebs 180s, and how can be for the owner drive uh, a, a dramatic, sensational feeling? So first of all, uh, uh, this boat is going to be kind of a monster. Uh, she's, uh, she's probably going to be by far the fastest uh, 80 footer out there uh, with, with no second in real terms. Uh, the boat is extremely light, uh, has a canting keel, twin rudders, uh, a very modern hull shape, a huge sail plan. So it's something that is uh, going to be incredibly fast uh, and uh, fun to sail, which is kind of the, uh, a crucial part of the brief. You're right, we have decided to go for a single canard uh, instead of the rotating sea foil. That has kind of become uh, a feature both on the 36 uh, and on the 125. Uh, and we had a long discussion about uh, what to utilize. In uh, absolute terms, uh, an asymmetric foil uh, like uh, the sea foil uh, has a better performance than a single canard, uh, which on the other side uh, can rotate. So you are kind of uh, comparing uh, uh, two different configurations. Uh, and each configuration has its strengths and weaknesses. 
So for a boat like this, uh, uh, we elected to go for this rotating canard because the boat is conceived to be extremely competitive in inshore racing, so not offshore like the 125, and very tight racing in the one design class. Imagine in Porto Cervo among the straits, uh, tucking very often and maneuvering very often, and so asking for a big versatility of the boat. So in the end, the choice went for the more versatile option instead than the pure performance, so to have a boat that could tactically be more competitive in that specific condition. So technology in general is not an absolute term. Technology needs to be optimized for what you are looking for. And that is what we are really trying to do every time. Marcello, uh, Enrico told us performance. How important are performance also in the process uh, of building both like this, I know you made a huge investment in the technology I have seen on the other department, a new robot conceived only for a specific uh, aim. Can you tell us more about this? Performance in, in, on the operation, on the production, we know it's very important. Have the ability with the, with the technology to be able to speed up the process, it's definitely a, a plus. So again, using robot, from the, the CNC machine for the tool, uh, to the tape placement for the lamination, uh, the plotter for preparing the, the pre-preg already pre-cutted uh, before laminating into the mold, uh, cut uh, dramatically the, the time of construction uh, and is again, it's, it's definitely a plus uh, in terms of time to market and satisfy the customer. And, uh, Enrico, uh, how in your vision and now your vision, this new Klebs 180 will change radically the sailing races? Uh, from also owner's point of view, not only in terms of uh, boat. Uh, it's, a, it's a very good point. Uh, let's say that we have proven uh, on, the smaller, uh, on the smaller yachts uh, that this one design, real-time racing, has been incredibly successful. So what is uh, the change? We come from handicap racing where you have uh, different boats with different ratings uh, sailing uh, not in real time and then comparing ratings in the end of the day. No one is happy except the one that wins, uh, because everyone has some complaints. So simplify the equation, make identical boats. Uh, the first crossing the finish line wins the race. Uh, quite simple, understandable, even for television or whatever communication is so much more simple. But the big, big advantage is different, uh, uh, is even more, uh, is even bigger. Uh, the sailing between identical boats is so close, uh, so tight, uh, and so the competition becomes so fierce uh, that the fun of sailing uh, is, is much more. And on top of this, uh, there is not what English call uh, arms race. Uh, so I need to change my mast, my kill, uh, my rudder, whatever, to become more competitive, spending a lot of money trying to have uh, a better boat than your competitors. In this case, in our case, it's very simple. You buy the boat, uh, Persico is, uh, is proving uh, and, uh, and uh, guaranteeing that it's identical to everyone else. I go racing, I know that if I win is my, is my merit, if I lose uh, is because someone else is better than me. And so even the cost of managing these campaigns is much lower, the fun is much bigger and why not? Clearly, on an 80-footer is a new world. No one has ever succeeded in making one design in 80-footers, uh, while it has been a success for us on the 45s, on the 50s, 36s and whatsoever. But we thought it was time uh, to start uh, even in the Maxi class. So we see the Maxi class has been a very successful um, circuit in the past, but now is, uh, is struggling. And so we thought it was time to really propose this new formula, which in reality is not new, it's as old as you can imagine. I mean, one design classes are there since, uh, since ever. Uh, but uh, to introduce this new formula, even in the Maxi class, uh, we believe it's time to do it. Uh, and we really look forward uh, to a great success. Now, guys, I have a, a question from both of you. He's a uh, part of this project, but also touch another point that is very important uh, today. We're talking about sustainability. This project has a, a soul that is very strong link with the sustainability. So, Marcello, Enrico, 
can tell us more about this aspect, the approach you have uh, on the uh, sustainability uh, side? Please, Marcello. Well, obviously, this uh, subject, uh, I think we all must uh, take care uh, more and more. Uh, as Persico Marine, uh, we take care, uh, for, again, in different processes into the company. But re regarding specifically about the, this project, uh, for the production of the mold, uh, we use uh, uh, material, in particular carbon, that, are, that is recycled from previous Persico Marine mold. So we, we have a partnership with a company not far from here, which can separate uh, the, the carbon from the resin, and they give us the carbon back. Obviously, it's a, a short fiber because it's chopped into their process, but for us, for the mold, that doesn't matter because you don't need the, for the mold the, the length of the fiber, but you only need the stability of the material of the carbon. So this is very, very useful. And uh, uh, to, be, to make sure that Enrico feels confident of the project, we use also for Luna Rossa this uh, and it would work. Another element um, um, is um, we call circular economy project that we do in Persico Marine for the scraps of the prepreg. So before curing the carbon, we collect them all and then uh, we send uh, to a local uh, company which does medical prothesis in composite uh, with the scraps because for us uh, scraps of prepreg for this large uh, uh, boat uh, it seems small something that for another company it's enough uh, to make a component and Enrico from Nautor point of view the sustainability is an important uh, role important key it is. Uh, in this case, uh, partnering uh, with Persico, uh, we, are, uh, we leave to them the part uh, of construction. And for this specific project, we have a very uh, important plan uh, into the racing uh, that we organize. All the racing we already organize and we will organize for this boat. Uh, we have a number of actions where uh, uh, it's completely plastic free. Uh, and we take care of, of the seas, the oceans, uh, with uh, very specific programs and partners uh, like Mare Vivo, One Ocean, uh, and we really look forward to, to uh, let's say, to, to, be, to lead uh, into a new, a new philosophy in taking care of the sea, specifically that is our environment. Thanks to everyone. This is the, the first step of uh, a series that we're going to develop in the future. The next one will be uh, will discover more in detail this uh, great project uh, together with uh, the naval architect 1k who describe us uh, with our, wh what are the key features of this club swan 80 a new amazing sailing machine thanks to everyone